Hi, it's Chris from Clearly Crafted. We're going to be putting the last piece of napkin on our fun little votive here. Um, our other two videos showed um, kind of cutting the napkin and how we figured out placement um, and then where it is there. And this is the votive that's using the really neat um, white daisy uh, Tarasin paper from Mulberry Paper and more. Um, and this is a 30 GSM paper, so it's it's actually pretty translucent, which is neat with a light. So we'll have decorative napkin and then some, you know, just really pretty open space. So I had gone with this napkin. So I'm going to put the iris on the side. So this is all, these are all from one napkin. So the pieces match really nicely. Um, but they're not exactly, you know, they're not mirror images of each other. I like to have a little bit of difference. Um, so I am going to, this is dry now. These other ones dried. It's only been about a half an hour. Just trying to have some glitter from the bottom. I just don't want to get glitter on everything. It's the problem when you start using some glitter. It ends up everywhere. So, oh, yep, and I can see it there. I can get that off. It's probably on my hand. Ah, a little bit of spit. Make it go away. <laughs> there it goes. So that's gone. And now I'll separate this piece. So I have a nice little um, piece of iris with the butterfly. And then this is, these are three ply for my glasses. So I can actually see. I just kind of fluff the edge a little bit with my nail. As long as it's not wet, you won't tear it. Uh, let's see, it's actually usually easier to separate. There we go. There, and that's the two layers. I can tell by the way this looks that this is the other two layers. And then this piece, this is gonna go on, I wanna put it on at a little bit of an angle. So it looks like it's coming up from the bottom. You can see that's going to look nice like that. It's going to be fun. So, and then I'll end up putting probably, I think I'm going to put a little bit of glitter on the two sides, not where the Tarasin paper is, because I don't want to, to glitter that, but where my napkin pieces are. And I decided I wanted this on a little bit of an angle coming up. And I'm going to use a small brush, and I like my... Satin Mod Podge. I joke that I'm not sponsored by anybody. I don't, you know, nobody knows who I am. <laughs> um, actually, Mulberry Paper and More just posted one of my pieces, but, um, you know, that was, they just spotlight different people that use their supplies. So I do like their papers. So that's, you know, I gladly, they have some really neat papers that you don't see. I just ordered some funky ones that I'm already looking towards some Halloween crafting. Um, that should look really neat on some pumpkins. So I'm just very carefully, you know, just using a dry finger to spread that out. I didn't even go all the way to the edge. Um, and you can see I've, I just have it halfway down. Um, and then I'm going to come back just very lightly. Not a whole lot. And I don't want to seal the edges because then I, if I have air bubbles that I'm trying to push to the side, they will get trapped and then I'll have a bubble. And that's annoying to deal with bubbles. I'd rather deal with wrinkles than bubbles. There we go. So and you can see all my edges are up still. So this bottom I'm going to come down and that'll come around. And now I'll just bring these in a little bit more. And now I'm going to start from the middle. Some of these are just a little too far out there. And you can see it's just kind of down basically there. And now I'm going to start from the middle with just a light coating of Mod Podge. And we're just going to go from the middle out. You can see right there, you get a little. As soon as you touch wet to napkins, they tend to wrinkle. Thunder, excuse me. I just heard some thunder. 
the weather has been rainy here in New Jersey. We've been kind of miserable. It's either rainy or cold and rainy. It's supposed to be spring. We had a couple 70 degree days, just enough for some of our pretty flowers to start popping up. And now it's like, ha ha, fooled you. Now I'm a big gardener, so that's why a lot of my, my things are outside. Pieces, flowers, I like flowers, I like animals. The birds, I have a big garden out back and lots of flowers. I like the more unusual flowers, which are fun. Um, I join a lot of the gardening sites. So it's always neat. That's why I like some of these different ones. I don't just do roses. Roses are beautiful and we have them, but um, I always look at them as like a common flower. Like, and especially when we start crafting, when I can find some other flowers that are, you know, not your usual like roses. And like when I find iris and orchids and those kind of napkins or rice paper, I'm like, yes, do something different. I do like sunflowers though, and I know so sunflowers are kind of basic, but I really do like the sunflowers. They just remind me of fall, and they just make me happy when I see them. Um, so I do a bunch of sunflower pieces. I was invited to do some crafts, um, do some vases for a sunflower festival that's here. Um, that I'm going to make some. They've only ever had plain vases, so they were wondering if I would make some vases for them. So I'm excited about that. So, yeah, that's down. What do you think? I think that's going to be really pretty. It's definitely different with the two different sides. So, and that they match. So, so you see, this is the one side. And then the other, with the terrace and paper in between. So just think if a little electric votive was in here. And then, obviously, I have my bottom that will end up getting painted. Um, but, yeah, I really, I mean, the colors. I have to say, this napkin from... Hallmark is the colors are really staying. Nothing more frustrating than you, you know, put down the napkin and it just completely blends away because the colors just don't, you know, look good. That's when I end up then going back and painting more. This one, I don't think I'm going to end up having to paint at all, um, which is, is fine. I may do a few little highlights, but it, it doesn't need painting or some of them, it's like, if I don't paint it, you're not going to see what the heck it was. But yeah, I mean, that butterfly, look how pretty that is love that side and that side they're just very different so you could have either side out you decide which one's the front <laughs> and then that paper is just so neat so fun little piece I will probably put a little glitter on and it'll get sealed and a little paint on the bottom um, and when I'm done I'll show it to you when it's finished all right happy crafting